steam train through the picturesque North Yorkshire moors is a pretty ideal way to spend your day. Hop on at Pickering or Whitby and work your way along the pretty moor side where you'll stop at Gromont, the home of the NYMR locomotive sheds. Now for train enthusiasts, Gromont is probably known for the North Yorkshire Moor's famous steam trains and for film and TV fans you might recognise this station from TV shows like Heartbeat and it was even the home of the Hogwarts Express in the first ever Harry Potter film. But today in the locomotive shed here at Gromont is another very special engine. Lucy the locomotive is 127 years old and comes all the way from Belgium. She started off life in Brussels in 1890 when she was brought in to replace horse-drawn trams in the city centre. And since then she moved to a zinc mine, a sugar factory and then made her way across the channel to Britain where she was restored in Bristol. And now she's finally home in Gromont. Paul Middleton has worked on the railway for 21 years and jumped at the opportunity to own his own little locomotive. I haven't owned my own engine before now, so it's uh, it's quite a good feeling really, I suppose, when, you, when you've worked on them for 20 years, to finally have your own, it's, it's, it's quite good really. I now own the oldest steam engine on the railway, so yeah, it's quite cool. It, it, it's it's going to be a, quite an interesting experience, actually sort of looking at it from, you know, when it's actually your own compared to working on other people's stuff, when suddenly it's your asset that you're looking after and trying to get running and your responsibility and cost in that respect would be quite different. It didn't start as a as a hobby or anything like that or I didn't like trains when I was at school or out it was just a job that I got and it sort of progressed from there really. I think the job has become a bit of a passion it's my life it's everything evolves around steam engines and railways and you know it's what I do and what I am I suppose so yeah. Lucy won't quite be the next flying Scotsman, but she will have a use, warming up carriages and doing novelty single coach rides with passengers being able to see right into the cab. Although work started, it could take Paul up to two years to get her back on the tracks again. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, we can get it up and running in about 18 months' time. 18 months, two years is my sort of aim, and that should be doable. But obviously, I'm trying to do it in my spare time as well as work here and keep the main fleet running. They've got to be the priority there, what keep the railway running, pulling passengers. So this is sort of spare time, you know, and I've obviously I've got my marriage to think about as well, you know, so I don't want to end up with a steam engine and single. So, But uh, the idea is, is, you know, you can put a brake van behind it and, and travel between stations and give a different experience because you can see straight into the cab. And as a normal steam engine, you can't see that. So you'll be able to watch the crew driving it and firing it as you're going along. Yeah, everyone's really, really looked forward to it coming and, and being here. Um, it's, you know, because it is a bit different and it's it's not the usual kind of thing we get on the railway, you know. Um, you know, everything's normally big and ex-British railways or whatever. To have something from foreign parts, you know, it's it, it does make it a bit more interesting. Well, for now, work goes on and we'll just have to wait to see Lucy the Loco chugging along North Yorkshire's train lines. Jennifer for Henry in Gromont.